Jesus, as he so often does in today's gospel, takes to task the Pharisees, those who were holders and bearers and administrators of the law, who knew the law, they knew the letter of the law, they knew how to administer it in a sense of uh, the letter of the law, in that, spirit, in that sense of the letter of the law, but they, what they failed to do was go further, uh, go deeper, uh, and live in the fullness of the law uh, by living out the spirit of the law and administrating in the spirit of the law. And this is something uh, Jesus takes them to, for which Jesus takes them to task because of the fact that they're, do, they're really only doing half the work. Uh, Jesus says, as, as he says in today's gospel, but these you should have done without neglecting the others. He's not saying get rid of the law. He himself was a good and faithful, he was raised as a good and faithful temple Jew. So he knew the law and he was called himself as a Jew to follow the law, yet he knew enough to live not only in the letter, by the letter of the law, but by the spirit of the law. I had an experience uh, a few years back. I was uh, on my way to the hospital. It was in the middle of the night and I got a hospital call. And I was uh, going a wee bit above the speed limit because uh, it was an emergency and I had to get to uh, the hospital. Uh, and there I found myself on Route 93 at about three in the morning or so. And uh, lo and behold, uh, one of our uh, Valiant State Troopers was on duty and saw me uh, going above that speed limit and pulled me over uh, as he was, as was his right to do uh, by the letter of the law. Uh, but then in the spirit of the law, in uh, finding out uh, that I was on my way to the hospital and it was indeed an emergency, I was not just out for a, uh, uh, a Sunday drive, if you will, uh, that I was on a mission. Um, he not only uh, allowed me to proceed, but he actually gave me an escort the rest of the way, right to the hospital, uh, the front door of the hospital, the emergency room. And he stayed there making sure that I got there in time and uh, fulfilled my mission. Now that was somebody who recognized the letter of the law, but then also recognized the spirit of the law. Uh, and I did not get a ticket that night, and I proceeded to go home doing the speed limit. Um, and in doing so, uh, living out the letter and the spirit of the law as well. Uh, and so, uh, certainly in our life of faith, we have the letter of the law. We have canon law, we have the church law, the ecclesial law. We have uh, God's law written on our hearts, uh, the commandments and the precepts of the law and the, uh, the, of God and the precepts of the church. And we are called to follow those. We are call, called to look at those, but we are like Jesus calls the Pharisees to do in today's gospel, we are called to go deeper, to go beyond just the letter of the law, just to say, I only need to go this far and no further. Uh, but oftentimes, living in the spirit of the law means to do more than what is expected of us, uh, than what is um, really uh, given to us to do uh, by that letter of the law. And then living in the spirit of the law uh, we uh, don't neglect the weightier things of the law, as Jesus says, judgment and mercy and fidelity. Uh, while we are not called to judge, uh, we are called to kind of critique our own lives. We're not called to judge others, uh, but we are called to critique our own life to see if we're living uh, in that spirit of the law. We are called to exact and to, uh, in turn, receive mercy. And we are called to a sense of fidelity, of faithfulness to the Lord. Uh, we are in the year of mercy, in fact. And so in living out that sense of mercy, living out that sense of justice in our own lives and meting it out to uh, people, people all whom we meet, uh, we live in that spirit of the law. We go beyond just merely the letter of the law, what's expected of us and what's demanded of us, but really what's demanded of us by God uh, in that spirit of the law. And we can't neglect one for the other. Uh, we can't say, well, I'm living a good life and I'm doing my best and, uh, you know, I give it my best shot, which is fine, which is, w but we are called to holiness. Uh, we, are call we are called to be holy, as Jesus reminds us at another point in the gospel. And in doing so, 
that striving for holiness, that striving for perfection as God would have it, uh, not as the world would have it, uh, calls us to do a little extra work, uh, calls us to uh, go beyond the letter of the law. Uh, and in living out the spirit of the law, we find fulfillment of the law. Uh, just as Jesus himself came not to abolish the law, but to fulfill it, uh, we are called not to ignore the law, but to live it out, uh, to live it out in our own lives uh, by living out that spirit of the law, uh, by uh, living in uh, the sense of judgment of the Lord, uh, of being in line with God's judgments, uh, of uh, exacting and receiving mercy, and by remaining faithful uh, to both the letter and the spirit of the law. And so, my friends, uh, as we continue this uh, liturgy, as we continue our journeys of faith, let us continue uh, to recognize the fact that we are called to live out both the letter and the spirit of the law. We live out the letter of the law by uh, reading scripture, by being familiar with church precepts, uh, and by following them to the best of our ability, of recognizing that it is the Lord through uh, the Holy Spirit and the presence of Almighty God that assists us in this endeavor, that we do not do so alone. We do so in concert with uh, our God, a God who uh, gives us life, a God who sustains our life, a God who at the end of our earthly days will call us home to newness of life in himself. And on this journey of faith, let us continue to live both in the letter of the law and in its spirit.